Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do Kane's night two and night three and um, how he is now on his sleep training. Um, as I already did sleep training day one, so if you missed that video, go check it out. I'll try to link it down below for you to see. If you hear all of that drilling, um, my dad and my husband are building Mila a huge playset, which I want to do a review on because um, it's the Costco one for $999 and it's really popular. So I wanted to do um, a review on that. So maybe I'll do that one next. Um, but as for Kane's sleep training, so day two, he went to bed an hour early, so 6.30. He slept until 1 a.m. and I still um, gave him a bottle because he had had one so early in the day and I just, I just think he's gonna be hungry. I don't know. Anyhow, so that was my last time giving him a night bottle. That's what I told myself. Um, and then he didn't wake up till five. And then at five, I let him cry and he cried, obviously. Um, and then put himself back to sleep and then woke up at 7.30 for the day. So that was awesome. It was kind of like he was getting it um, and putting himself back to sleep. For day three, he put himself to sleep at 7.30 because he had his third nap on that day. He put himself to sleep at 7.30. Again, woke up at 1. That seems to be like his his um, window or whatever you want to call it. But I did not give him a bottle. He did cry for a little bit of time. Um, I did go back in there and give him the pacifier, which I'm sure is against the rules. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying the best I can. <laughs> and the crying is so sad. Um, but when I do go in there, he's smiling and no tears. He's fine. Um, and then he slept again until five, cried, put himself to sleep, and then woke up at 7.30. As for now, he is sleeping great. Last night, he actually slept the longest he's ever, ever, ever slept, which is amazing. Um, he, from the third day till now, we kind of had a little bit of a um, hiccup, I would say, with them building the playset. There's so much noise, so his naps are turning into... 30 minutes because he's getting woken up and all of that stuff and I kind of loved again rocking him <laughs> um but now I only rock him for a little bit of time and then I put him in and he puts himself to sleep um so he kind of jumped right back into that and he has done great he put himself to sleep last night at 7 30 after a little bit of crying um and then he woke up at 5 a m people 5 a.m the longest he's ever ever slept um and then i gave him a bottle at five because i thought he was up for the day i wasn't sure because that was a lot of sleeping and he fell right back asleep after after he had his bottle so he was still tired which shows me that he can sleep past the five o'clock he's currently playing over here on the floor his favorite thing to do <laughs> All right, so that is his update on our sleep training. Um, if you did not watch the first video, I did the um, Berber method, kind of like cry it. I mean, it is cry it out, but with check-ins, kind of gauging your own child. Um, and it seemed to really work for us. And he is sleeping amazing <laughs> compared to waking up every two hours, which is a headache. But we're all good now and we're all sleeping and yeah so in my next video i'll do the playset review because it looks so cool and you're gonna love it um and then let me know if you have any video suggestions you want me to make down below and i'll see you in my next video bye